is KB DeMar, back to bring you the news. On today's wrestling report, we have many stories, starting with Friday Night Smackdown to NBC. AEW is planning to change up his roster and many more stories. Please don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to stay up to date. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the news. The USA Network consistently ranks among the top cable networks every week, primarily because of WWE programming. With TV ratings declining for most scripted shows, the networks rely more on live and sports programming to keep them afloat. There was a time when the major TV networks like NBC and Fox would have never aired a weekly wrestling show, but times have changed and wrestling has consistently drawn strong numbers every Friday night on Fox. Meltzer stated on the Wrestling Observer Radio that he has heard talk about NBC getting SmackDown, but that is far from locked in. I know there was talk of NBC getting SmackDown, Meltzer said. There's been no official negotiations, but I have absolutely heard the idea of NBC being interested as far as the idea of getting everything and putting SmackDown on the network. That does make sense. There is a reason behind Matt Cardona not appearing on Impact TV in a while, as he has finished up with the promotion for the time being. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select reported the news. Cardona had worked for over two years with the promotion, but did so without a contract. Instead, they were working together on a handshake deal. Impact had been hopeful of inking him to a contract with guaranteed dates, although Cardona was happy with the idea of maintaining the agreed upon dates, but preferred to do it on the same handshake deal they'd had prior. The report noted that it wasn't made an option because the promotion has been more adamant about signing talent to deals, something they did recently with Nick Aldis by signing him to a short-term deal. There are no issues between Cardona and Impact as they're open to working together again in the future. Although Cardona had been adamant that he'd be open to returning, he wanted to do it on a handshake deal. Top AEW star John Moxley is returning to New Japan Pro Wrestling. Moxley hasn't wrestled in Japan for the promotion since February 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic when he defended the IWGP United States Championship against Minoru Suzuki. The promotion confirmed on Wednesday during Wrestling Dantaku that the former IWGP United States Champion is set to return on Sunday, June 4th at Dominion. There has been talk of AEW doing a roster split of sorts with the return of CM Punk with the idea to keep him away from those who he doesn't like and vice versa due to the backstage drama leading to the incidents at All Out. AEW is reportedly building and introducing a roster split when their new Saturday night show Collision debuts next month on TNT that will air as a two hour program. AEW is reportedly premiering the episode with the return of Punk at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois on June 17th. As previously reported last week, Punk and FTR were originally slated to be used on Collision, while the Elite and others will stay on Dynamite. That's it guys, thank you for tuning in. Please be sure to check out more videos from the channel. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell for daily wrestling videos. Once again, I'm KB the Mark, signing off. Until the next one. I started with nothing and came out of king. Came out of king. Yeah. I've been the one that's been balling for rings. I've been the one that's been balling for rings. It's been me and my team and we chasing the green. Me and the team and we chasing the green. My team be the shit, we ain't balling for free. Ballin for free. Yeah. My team be the shit, we ain't balling for free.